everybody, welcome back to The Witcher. Something, something about worms. I don't know what the hell that little girl's doing over there. Anyway, last time we learned that uh, don't judge her by the size of her hood. She's still, she's still Jenny of the Wood. Girl, kick my ass. Apparently she's level 10, and uh, I just wasn't prepared at all. I didn't have oils on, I didn't bring anything fun to kill her with. Something about worms still, I don't even know. But uh, we're not going to do that anymore. We're going back to her later. Because I would rather not throw myself against a wraith wall. Instead, we're going to go find the pond by the village. One would assume this is the pond? There's supposed to be a large stone near the pond. I thought that was one of those statues I had to fix. But it appears to be fixed. Really? Doing my job for me. There's the boulder. Now right, and on to the cart. The bloody boulder? Yeah, nothing dangerous sounding about this. Holy shit. I got my ring sword out. Oh, God! They jumped right at me! I wasn't even prepared for that! Son of a bitch! The are all completely unfazed by any of the things happening right now. It's like I kill these guys all the time. Alright, well, I'll take their claws. And their blood. Ooh, and a mutagen. Okay, so we're just gonna keep moving on. Following this hair. Lead the way, my rabbit. Uh oh. Miss, the cows are wheezing. Won't rise from the barn floor. Pus streams from her snout. Do I look like a dairymaid to Is you? Is that Kira? No, Miss. But you know things. Tis our last cow. None other left in the village. Rest died of hunger. Or soldiers let him off. Oh, we're as good as dead without her. I shall give you herbs. Mix them with water drawn from the spring at midnight, then make the cow drink them. But first, you must clean out your barn. Thoroughly. Is that clear? Thank you, miss. A thousand thanks. Enough. I've had my fill for the day. Go home. She's in a foul mood. I was about to make an awesome innuendo about her having her fill, but uh, She's quick I'm going to take the high road on this one. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to let you know that I could have done it. And I probably, if I'm lucky, will do it. Anyone home? she run off to? Uh, A pentagram in chalk. Hmm. Managed to amass quite a book collection. I mean, it's not my book collection. But it's good. Is this who I think this is? Oh. Hmm. Normal candle. Good work, Detective Geralt. Nailing it. Ordinary ointment. Nothing special. The one place we haven't looked. The bed. Let's do it, buddy. Uh-oh. Recipe for black eyeliner? Question mark? Black eyeliner in a pinch. When deprived of professional products, one can mix up black eyeliner from crushed medicinal charcoal. Is that such a thing that exists in this world? Mixed with fresh egg yolk and a drop of lavender oil to keep the contaminants at bay. This is all known facts. Store the eyeliner in a cool place for at most three days, then make a new batch because the old one has surely rotted. 
And just the remaining medicinal charcoal, again, is that a thing? For it can only do you good. It's good advice, ladies. Good, solid, witchy advice. Oh, or this giant trap door that I totally missed. Oh, and this mirror. And that skull. God, I'm a horrible detective. Powerful aura. Must be some artifact or... So this is where she disappeared to. Oh, all right. Well, that works just as well. So wait, what's in the trap door? Oh, and I don't get to explore the mirror now? Ain't that a bag of wieners and dicks? Letter to Alexander. Darling, I'm writing because you must be worried that I'm still angry. Silly man. You know full well I never hold a grudge long. I forgive you. It's all because of that secretness of yours. Is it so strange for me to take an interest in your plague research? Yes. I adore watching you at work in your tower. Please, if you still refuse to discuss the results of your experiments with me, which you should, at least don't deny me that small pleasure. If Visrod doesn't need you tomorrow evening, come see me. We'll clear everything up over a glass of wine, or two, or more, your K. This is exactly who I think this is. Before we go in a portal, yeah, down we go. Yeah. Oh, grow up, Geralt. Yeah? Yeah? I'll take all of her bread and linen. And ingots. And spirits. And dolls. Really? That chest for one doll? Alright. Look, I ain't gonna hate a lady for keeping her prized possessions all prized and possessed. I'm super curious what he would have said about that mirror. He'd probably have been like, Yeah, my reflection. A dark visage. Hunting down some tail. It's creepy. What are you talking about, Geralt? Jump! Aw, oh, where the hell are we now? Well, well. Nice. What do I have to do for a magical witch garden? Preferably with nude witches. Game. Make this happen. I was wondering how long it would take you, Geralt. Kira, knew it. Knew it. Greetings, Witcher. Yes, please. Mr. Spot. Hmm. Where? Hope you didn't come to court. No. To talk. Turn around and wait. Why did I have to do all that? Kira Metz deep in the heart of Velen. Thought you hated the countryside. I can assure you I do. Now more than ever. Heard a witch lived out here. Never would have guessed it was King Fultest's former advisor. I'm so pleased the world's still able to astound you, Geralt. I actually envy you that sense of wonder. Common in children, knights errant, and morons. I'm all three. Mm, someone's grown irritable. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I believe I greeted you with a pleasant view. Now tell me what brings you here. That pleasant view, girl. Uh, yeah, let's just go down this. Like, what are you doing here? So, bet you saw this question coming. What are you doing here? Let me think. Enjoying the country air? Admiring the unspoilt scenery? Or is it furthering the age-old alliance between the city and its breadbasket? No. I'm in hiding, Geralt. Blind to the state of the world? Don't you see what's happening? You mean the persecution mages now face? Yes, that's exactly what I mean. Radovid's new pastime. Pursuing anyone with a whiff of magic about them. 
Witch hunters. Sound familiar? Murderers scouring the north from end to end, burning books, hanging soothsayers, torturing herbalists. picked a strange place to hide. I didn't pick anything. In the north, Radovid's men hunt sorceresses like fish in a barrel. Nilfgaard controls the south. Where was I to flee? Emperor does keep mages on a short leash, but he lets them live and ply their trade. Radovid and Emma differ in every respect except one. They share a deep hatred of the Lodge of Sorceresses. And I was a member. I mean, you guys did try to, to kill everyone. That was definitely something you tried to do. There were dragons involved. Lots of betrayal. So how's it feel to be the village witch? <sighs> Horrid. No joy in having the boundless respect and trust of the local peasantry? <laughs> They'd respect anyone who could produce hemorrhoid cream. Been here a while, haven't you? Long enough for rot to set in. You cannot possibly imagine how much I detest this place. Changing the subject. Yeah, that's a good question. Anyone for the other sorceresses? Any news of your sisters from the lodge? None. We can't know too much about one another these days. It's safer that way. Even tried to contact one another? I've wanted to many times. But I've no way of knowing who would answer. Or who might be listening. I'm looking for a certain young woman. Oh, really? Who? Someone who quarreled with a witch. Yeah, that's a good answer. Apparently she quarreled with a local witch. <laughs> Someone's been feeding you horse shit. The girls around here are too stupid to quarrel with me. She's not from here. You're up to something, Geralt. If I'm to help you, you must tell me what's going on. Who are you looking for? Siri. Siri? Well, now I understand the secrecy, not to mention the brooding, the furled brow. And do you say she had some sort of problem with a witch? So you haven't seen her? I'm certain I haven't. But recently, someone asked me about an ashen-haired woman. He claimed she would stand out from the peasant crowd. Hmm, what else did he say? He say anything else about her? <laughs> Not so fast, Geralt. No humble plea. No offering for the witch. Look, lady! How's it? Yeah. How about some eggs? Uh, yeah, let's play snarky. What's your rate these days? A couple dozen eggs? Three hens, maybe? Wah wah! My rate rises with every word you speak. I'm not sure you can afford the information anymore. Hmm, you're pricklier than I remembered. Isn't living in nature's lap supposed to be cleansing, calming? Nature stinks. Oh, sod it, don't give me that look. I know it's Siri we're talking about. It was an elf, this individual who asked about Cyrilla. No flea-bitten Scoia'tael slob either, but an elven mage. What? Yeah, what was he doing in Velen? What was an elven mage doing in Velen? Well, I tried to ask him, of course, about everything. Of course. Oh, but you know how elves are. He asked many more questions than he answered. Okay, so who was this dude? He say what his name was. He didn't. And he wore a mask. Very secretive all around, but I liked him. He was intelligent and composed. He say what he wanted with Siri. Only that they were to meet in Velen. He wished to know if she'd arrived before he did. What is Siri doing with elves? What? He leave any message for her? No, but he asked that were I to meet her, I should lead her to him. So you know where to find him? Yes, he said he found a hideout in some elven ruins near the village of Midcops. I'll go there with you. Oh, you mean Midsco? Why? Otherwise I've been Thank pronouncing that wrong the entire place. game and would feel like an idiot. I've unfinished business with this elf. He promised me something, but he never delivered it. Besides, I know you think as I do, that she might be there. And I'd like to see Cyrilla too. Can we 
go. Can't go just yet. Yeah, let's do this. Can't go just yet. In that case, we'll meet there. I'll await you near the cave entrance. It says a lot about the power of magic that for a brief moment, I didn't notice the two rabbits banging. Only the awesome, like, backwards waterfall pond. That thing is cool. I don't know how it works. But I know I like it. I don't want to explore this place. Like, I can't get in there, can I? There's got to be cool stuff in here somewhere, right? Plants. That's about it. Maybe back up here? Can I jump in this crazy, wacky water? Crazy, wacky water! What? That's trippy as balls. All right. So now that we know about that, my options change. So there's that. Oh my goodness. But there's also uh, family matters, which we can track really quick. And that's gonna take me back to the Baron to ask him. Alright, let's do that. Let's go back to the Baron, and then we'll, while we're running, we'll stop there. Maybe? Question mark? Sure. I'll fill you in on why I'm going back and forth. I'm a little concerned that if I complete one, it won't let me complete the other. I'm hoping I can do both, but. I'm wary of options, let's just say. Run, Roach. And then we'll do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Come oh, on. come on, nope. Not even gonna stop for bandits, just gonna keep on going. Whatever's up here is probably... Strike. What? Is that going to be a problem for us? Oh, shit. What the hell? What the hell? That whole thing's burning down over there. All right, we'll get there in a sec. Come on, you sons of bitches. Hey, fellas. What's up? Come on, come on, come on, assholes. Uh, roll out the way. Yuck! Oh, he's back up in the tree! Oh, that's so good. Now I'm back up in the tree! That's not so good. Did I kill the one with the dynamite? I'm gonna kill this one with the dynamite, that's for sure. Come on, you son of a bitch. Hey, hey, jack off. Come here, come here. Well, that didn't work like I intended. Now I'm just blowing shit up. Okay, now I'm pissing guys off. He's like, those were my barrels. Oh, why did you do that? Okay, that ended very quickly. And uh, let's blow Good this master. nest up. Ought to just destroy it. Yeah, I got a ruby ring. Sure, take all that business. Anything else? Dude, is something going down at the Baron's place? It's definitely a good thing I came back now. And then took five minutes to go oh, kill yeah. some monsters. 
What the hell's going on? What are you doing? That's it, Roach. Oh. Get out the way! Wait, it does no one there care? Oswin. Where's Oswin? Anyone seen him? Believe I saw him heading to the stable. What? Fire. You blind? Nobody willing to put it out? Ain't that simple. Most are afraid. Baron flies into a rage. He takes no prisoners. My brother's in the stable. We've got to save him. He'll burn alive. Him and the horses. I'll try. See what I can do. Hurry now, quick! Oh my goodness. Can I not get in there? Alright. The Baron is losing his mind over there. Killing his own men, I and mean, I'm trying to save this dude from burning alive. <laughs> Lots of smoke. Gotta hurry. Oh, great. Yeah, I'll try not to die. Uh, so this? Get out of the way! This is this is where we're going. I'm gonna die in here because I don't know. Really? Really? Oh, did I make it? Or is this the Geralt died in there that day? Nope, I made it. in our midst. The horses! Why, I'm prepared to forgive you the drubbing you gave those pricks at the crossroads. I know your wife miscarried. Was that before or after you beer to a pulp? What the fuck are you suggesting? Don't play me for a fool. You'd been beating them for years. Finally, they'd had enough and fled. Sound about right? Ah! Oh my god, do I have to knock this guy out? Damn oh! They ran from me, didn't they? Lying prick! All right, all right, all right. You cannot be so dumb, you idiot. You're an asshole, man. That guy just wants some money. We need to talk. <laughs> Sit down. You beat them. I never laid a finger on Tamara. Not once. And on Anna? That's another story. She always knew how to spark my ire. So that candlestick I found, the whole, all that was you. Yeah, how'd she get you angry? Your wife. How'd she make you angry? Too much salt in the soup? Socks never darned? Twenty years we've known each other. She's seen me drunk and sober. She was there to greet me when I returned the victor. She was there to patch me up in defeat. Like no other, 
She knew where to press, where to pinch, so it would hurt. You beat her? For that? For criticizing you? Oh, Witcher, you haven't a clue, have you? Well, perhaps I shall tell you about it one day. One day, but not today. No, bro, today is definitely the day we need all the answers. Expect me to believe you are a loving father to Tamara after that scene in the courtyard? You're free to believe whatever you wish, but she was always the apple of my eye. She had the run of the place, ask anyone. She'd ride the horses, hunt with the men, at times join them on their rounds. And they'd send for her when I flew into a rage, for only she could calm me. Make it sound like she led a charmed life. If that's the case, why'd she run? I'd hardly need you if I knew. You knew they had run away from the start. Yes, I knew. Why didn't you tell me? Wasted my time. Say I had. Say I'd said I had troubles. Couldn't control my wife, my daughter. What kind of flaccid prick would you take me for? How do they flee? What happened? They didn't run away, you drove them out. Yeah. Gotta admit, I do think you're a prick. Not because you couldn't control them, but because you drove them away. What? Don't play the idiot. You gave them no choice. Anna and I... It wasn't as it seemed. Seems. Yeah, tell me. Alright, I'm all ears. Tell me what happened. The truth this time. I'd been soaking myself three days straight. Anna came to me, said they were leaving. I begged them to stay. She refused to hear it. I tried to stop her. She wriggled like an eel. We struggled. She fell. Last blasted thing I remember. Woke up in the morn, breeches heavy with my own piss. A large bump on my head. Sadly, they were gone. Know what that's like, Witcher? No. How the fuck could you? I was left with nothing. Nothing! Only the bottle. Signs of a fight in the room. Hole in the wall, wine all over the landing. Was that you? I. We tussled. She tried to whack me on the noggin with a candlestick, but kept missing. Hit the wall and the pillar instead. I staggered backwards onto the table, spilled the wine, slipped and tumbled. Anna used that moment to flee. She rushed down the stairs, still clutching that damn candlestick. I caught her on the landing. We fell. I, I thought I had her. Then she turned and smacked me in the head. I blacked out. Don't know what happened next. When I came to, I was alone. Tomorrow present for all this, she see you quarrel. Through the doorway, perhaps. She didn't enter the room. Shame, too. Things might have turned out differently. The sight of her always calmed me. What happened next? Next? It only got worse. I awoke at sunset, not knowing how many days had passed. Thought it was all a plowing, drunken nightmare. And then I went to the bedchamber, and Anna was not there. Instead, there was blood everywhere. I knew she'd miscarried. My breath short, my throat locked. I neared the bed and saw it. It lay there, a tiny thing, defenseless, on bloodied sheets, dead. And it was my doing. Hmm. Seen a lot of dead in my time, but that must have been hard. Unspeakably so. My legs gave out. 
Saw fields of corpses at Sodden. Saw witches burn in Maribor. But compared to this, all that was a rabbit's prick alongside a great oak. And the guilt is all mine. We don't know that yet. The amulet and a war could be linked somehow. Maybe the fact that she lost it. What did you do with the child? Wrapped it in a clean sheet and buried it. Where? Just like that. Damn you! I gave no thought to a funeral. It was a horror. I wanted it to end. That child had been my dream. I told Anna, the little one, our little one, to make things right. Yet she died before she could be born. Understand, Witcher? My child was dead. Hmm. I feel like if I continue being nice to the guy, he'll help me a lot faster than me being like, Yo, stop being such a weak fool and tell me where to go. Yeah, let's do this. I sympathize. I do. Thank you. And know that I hope you find your city. Deal we made means I need to find Tamara and Anna first. Just so happens your unborn daughter might help us do that. What? How? Sometimes miscarried fetuses, if they don't get a proper burial, turn into botchlings. Into... fucking... what? I don't... Look, you don't need the details. Just help me, bro. Details you don't need to know. There's a bond of blood between this creature and your wife and daughter. I can use that bond to find them. How? One of two ways. Legends claim you can bury a botchling under the family's threshold, perform a ritual, and turn it into a lubberkin. That's a sort of, uh, hob. A guardian spirit that could lead me to your family. And the other way? We kill it and draw some blood. Take that to the Peller and he does the rest. Do not kill my child. It's suffered enough already. Lift the curse that it may finally rest in peace. Still not sure what to do. Whatever you decide, we must put an end to my child's suffering. Whatever we do, we gotta find the botchling first. I'll show you where I buried her, and I'll dig the grave at my threshold. If it turns out we can't transform the botchling into a lubberkin, they can bury us in it. Handy either way. Yeah, I'll come get you later. Need to tend to something first. Be quick! And me? What am I to do in the meantime? Sober up. Anyway, guys, that's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, I'm back. I'm back. I took a little break to get better. I don't know if it worked, but I feel better. And uh, now we're going to start pounding out videos. Like witches. I don't, don't know. I don't know what that means. Get your head out your butt. And as always, if you can subscribe and thumbs up and all that gibberish, that'd be great. And to be continued.